Some people are blessed with amazing talent, but unfortunately don't know how to utilize that talent in order to get the most out of it that they can. The guy we're going to be talking about today is an example of one of those people. Duke Williams let his attitude and poor decision making get in the way of a smooth ride to the NFL, but through grit and hard work was able to find his way into the league even if it wasn't the most traditional way. Today we're going to be going through the journey of Duke Williams and find out what he could have done differently in order for him to be in the best position for success. Guys, before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if y'all subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content that I put out. It helps the channel to grow and it only takes one second. Now let's get into the video. Duke grew up in Reserve, Louisiana and attended East St. John High School. As a senior, he had 1,495 receiving yards and 25 touchdowns. That along with his 6 foot 3, 190 pound frame made him unstoppable. But unfortunately, he was not academically eligible and decided to go the JUCO route and ended up attending Gulf Coast Community College in Mississippi. In Duke's one and only season at Gulf Coast Community College, he had 67 receptions for 1,295 yards and 17 touchdowns. He was a scoring machine and became the number one JUCO player in the country. So naturally, coaches across the country were dying to get this guy, and he had offers from schools such as Auburn, LSU, Alabama, Mississippi State, Florida State, Miami, and many, many more. Duke heavily led towards LSU and actually committed to play there before ultimately decommitting to play at Auburn University. Duke burst onto the scene at Auburn and in his first season recorded 45 receptions for 730 yards and 5 touchdowns, despite only playing in 10 games because of an MCL tear during the season. At the end of that 2014 season, Auburn was invited to the Outback Bowl, but one person who would not be playing in that game was Duke Williams. Duke was suspended for that game for breaking team rules. We don't know what team rules he broke, but coach Gus Malzahn did not think it was necessary to share the specifics on why Duke would not be playing, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter. What matters is that Duke was not going to be able to play in his first collegiate bowl game. Fun fact, Duke was actually taken to the bowl game partially because he had declared that he was coming back for his senior year at Auburn, but also because he was acting as Wisconsin's best receiver on their scout team, and that had to be humbling. This suspension was a sign of things to come for the 6'3", 200-pound receiver. During spring training, something happened that kind of confused Auburn fans. Duke made a couple of tweets that made some fans worried. In these tweets, he implied that he was leaving, or at least thinking about leaving Auburn. He said things like, I'm gonna have to look at my options after my final exam, and I don't know if this is the place for me. Coach Malzahn actually addressed this by saying, quote, kids will be kids. Eventually, things worked out and Duke ended up staying at Auburn. Going into his senior season, Duke had high expectations, as going into fall camp, he was placed on the watch list of the Maxwell Award and the Walter Camp Award. He was also later named to the preseason All-SEC team. Leading up to the opening of the season, Duke got in a little bit of trouble with the coaching staff when he missed a lot of fall camp due to personal issues that the coaches would not elaborate on. These personal issues didn't seem to be that seriously damaging to his health or well-being because Duke ended up serving a small suspension and if the issues were serious, I'm sure the coaching staff would not suspend the man. Despite this, he ended up starting in Auburn's opener against Louisville, in which he only had 3 catches for 40 yards. One night, about halfway through the regular season, Duke and a couple of his friends decided to go out for a drink at a local bar. And according to the employees at the bar, this is rumored, but it's what the employees at the bar said. They said one of Duke's friends was kicked out of the bar because he refused to remove his sunglasses, which violated the bar's dress code. Duke, who according to the employees appeared to be intoxicated, verbally harassed the security guards in an attempt to get his friend back into the bar, which then led to him getting thrown out of the bar himself. Eventually, Duke was allowed to return to the bar, but things ended up going downhill from there as Duke ended up throwing a drink at a female patron and throwing multiple punches at security guards, who then tossed him out of the bar for the final time. Sadly, not soon after this event, on October 5th, 2015, Duke was released from the Auburn football team. This was a low point in Duke's life, and though it may seem that he would never recover, he would. Things would go up for Duke as on May 10th, 2016, he signed with the Los Angeles Rams as an unsigned free agent, but was later waived on September 3rd. Before the 2017 season, Duke signed with the Edmonton Eskimos of the CFL, 
and in his CFL debut, he had four catches for 110 yards and a touchdown. He went on to have a very, very solid year with 46 receptions for 715 yards and four touchdowns. The next year, Duke would have an unbelievable season as he had 88 receptions for 1,579 yards and 11 touchdowns. Any doubters that Duke had before the season were proven wrong. Duke had shown that he was elite and was one of, if not, the best receiver in the CFL. This performance in the CFL led to a chance in the NFL where on January 7, 2019, he signed with the Buffalo Bills. In the 2019 season with Buffalo, Duke only recorded 12 catches for 116 yards and one touchdown. However, Duke is only 27 and still has time to prove himself, which he's done multiple times before, so what's to stop him from doing it again? You gotta give Duke credit as he went through some rough patches in his career, but never gave up. He kept going and eventually got on the right path, and uh, hopefully he's able to turn his career into a great one. Guys, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe as it helps the channel to grow. It would be much appreciated and it only takes one second. Besides that, until next time.